The Java API that you can use in your program to communicate with a relational database is the JDBC. That's the Java Database Connectivity. Once your program has made a connection with the database, it creates statement objects and uses them to communicate with the database. A response from the database is called a result set. Communications is achieved between your program and the database using SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. This command syntax is used a lot, and you'll also hear it called SQL or Squeal. One fortunate thing has happened. When SQL first appeared, it came out in different dialects for different databases. However, over time, those dialects have merged into one, and we have now what is almost one compatible language for all databases. What this means is that although I'll be using the point-based database, which is one that comes free with J2EE, the syntax of the SQL is the same no matter which database you're using. What differs are the drivers. A driver is software that talks to Java on one end and to a specific type of database on the other. The driver formats the message packets and takes care of communications. All your program does is use the JDBC, which in turn talks through the driver to the database. Drivers are freely available. All you have to do is pick the one you want, download it, and install it. But there are different types of drivers, and you need to be aware of these types to make sure you get the type you want. The types are numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. A Type 1 driver maps the calls from the JDBC to the calls of the native API of the database. Now, the communication goes through a bridge such as an ODBC. That is, the calls to JDBC are translated to calls to ODBC or some other bridge, which translates those calls into the native API of the database itself. This was designed to work with databases that already had an ODBC driver. Sun's Java site states that Type 1 drivers should not be put into production. They should only be used to prototype systems. A Type 2 driver is like a Type 1 in that it communicates through the native API of the database, but it makes the calls directly to the API instead of going through an intermediary bridge. This is a more efficient driver because it skips that intermediate step of the bridge. This type of driver talks to a middleware process, usually running on another machine. The communication between the processes uses a database independent protocol. The middleware component uses the native API of the database. One note here, since the middleware component is its own standalone program and it's on the same computer as the database, it could actually be using a Type 1 or Type 2 driver to talk to the actual database. The Type 4 driver is the one that's known as a thin driver. The driver communicates directly with the database. This one is written completely in Java and makes Java calls to the database API. There's no C code API involved. Because it's written entirely in Java, it's portable and is a good choice for systems that need to run on different platforms, Unix, Windows, Mac, so on. You want to install a Type 2 or Type 4 database except in special circumstances. Types 1 and 3 add communication layers that you don't want to have unless you really need them. Types 2 and 4 both perform well, and the only way to be sure which is better on your system is to test them. You can find the driver that you want right here. The makers of database systems want their drivers to be used, so their databases will be used, and they put their drivers on this website to make them available. You select your version of J2EE, the type and version of your database, and you'll be shown the types and names of drivers that will work for you. You pick the one you want, and you download it.